to have to put the house on it. If I have to put my house on it, one of them. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've lost on the ground. A few, you have a few loss, and he lost on the ground. Which where Khabib is good. That's where uh, Khabib is the more most competent. As, however, Khabib sometimes has is a slow starter. Mm. And he get punched a lot. Michael and Johnson. Yes, he didn't look good in, in the beginning of the fight. And he's hard sometimes to close distance. You have a problem to close the distance. But once he got you in the clinch, he's very good. So I believe the chance, the, the odds goes on Khabib's uh, favor, like maybe 60 to 40, I, I believe. Khabib has more chance to win that fight than Connor. Uh, Connor has one way to win the fight. It will be to, if you catch him on the way in, standing up. Uh, Khabib, I think, has more chance to win. He can win by submission on the ground, he can win by ground pound. If he goes to decision, the chances are very likely that is Khabib that's going to win. I see more ways to win from Khabib than I see from Connor. Okay. What's your opinion on the fight? When, when you first heard it, where were we at on that? When I heard it a while ago and think it was going to happen, I was my money was on Khabib. Yeah. Um, after Khabib's last performance um, against Al, I know Al's a good guy, a good fighter as well too. Amazing fighter. I just don't think his stand up's there. No, I just don't. I he's agree. The, like I feel like Connor's just got that that left hand. He's fast. He's going to be able to use his angles, his crazy kicks, his like, footwork. I, yeah. And I've always underestimated the guy. And then he, he's Connor, like, yeah, yeah, like all these like Eddie Alvarez. Oh, Eddie Alvarez is going to run through. I know. Him. I thought it was a terrible Boom. matchup for him. You know, know. Uh, Jose Aldo. Uh, Aldo's going to beat him. I know. You know? Um, I, I look at the yeah. I, I, I did the exact same thing you know. before he fought for Khabib fought Al. Yeah. I was like, dude, I I do not want to see Connor fight Khabib. Yeah. This is going to be a terrible matchup for him. Yeah. And I watch that Al fight. I'm like, oh shit, he's human. Khabib's slow, man. You know, I, and it, it, for me, the biggest red flag was transitions from striking to yes. grappling. He shot without setting anything up. And yeah. far away, I'm yeah. like, oh shit. Well, yeah. Al's a phenomenal fighter, but Connor's movement, the, the, you know, is second to none. So he's not going to be there, yeah. and that leaves you open to whatever he wants to do with those angles. Mm -hmm. So it's a good fight. But when I look at that fight, I think Khabib kicks his ass. I've always thought Khabib would kick his ass. I always thought Khabib would just go take him down and beat him up. I'm then confronted with the evidence that Chad Mendez also took him down, but failed to beat him up. I'm also confronted with the evidence that I thought Jose Aldo would go out there and expose Connor and beat him up. I'm confronted with the fact that I thought Eddie Alvarez was going to go out there and beat him up. Well, when you look at Connor, you are left with the question, just how good is he, right? I do agree when you look at it. Yeah, it looks like Khabib can keep up with his conditioning. Khabib can pressure him. Khabib can take him down, keep him there, beat him up. Because we've seen Khabib do those things to so many other great guys. But we've seen Chad Mendez do it as well, and Chad Mendez had a very, very hard time keeping Connor down, and I can't tell you why. Some of those guys are slippery down there. Some of those guys just know how to move their hips. Some of those guys know how to turn and adjust and scramble and get back to their feet. And, uh, and I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not sure we know the answer to the question of how good is Connor. I'll tell you right now. I think he's in over his head. I think if Khabib does not correct the mistake of sitting back with his chin back and going to the side, Connor's going to put his lights out on with that left hand pre pretty bad, pretty quickly. But Connor McGregor on his back, I, I don't feel like he has a, a look from the past looking at everything. I don't feel like he has a strong spirit for fighting on the ground. So some guys have a real strong spirit. They can stand up all day for five, ten rounds as long as they're standing up. But when it goes to the ground, their spirit weakens. So um, I don't think Connor has a strong enough spirit to be able to withstand Khabib's ground attack over and over and over and over. So um, I'd have to give the edge to Khabib. What's his record? 25 and 0? 26 now. 26 and 0. 26 that's, and 0. That's amazing. And he's barely tested. Yeah. He barely no. gets tested. Yeah, that's what, amazing. You see one little flaw in him, you get all excited. Yeah. Because like, ooh, look, he's keeping his Who chin up. Who do you up. think win that fight? What's that? Who do you think win that fight? It's a good question. It's Well, the question is, can Connor catch him? Can Connor catch him while he's coming in? Yeah. And if Connor can catch him, look, Connor can knock anybody out. Yeah. I mean, look, you see what he, what he did to Eddie Alvarez. You see what he did to Aldo. Nobody had ever done that to Aldo before. That's world... That that's the best strikers in the in the division. Yeah, and what Connor has is 
incredible precision mm. and the ability he's, he's, to he's fast he's, he's so fast so fast his speed his angles he moves he moves create an angle and he just counter the shit out of the guys and yeah that's that's all he needs he also moves unusual he mm. moves almost like a karate guy yeah he does you know he does. like wide stance but then knocks you out like a like a real yeah. pro boxer like the only thing i'm doubting on it's on, on connor yeah you know he, he's 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 the best striker and all of that but does he have the conditioning for khabib that's a good question it's Khabib, good he just he just keeps going and different just, animal. Yeah, and it's also the wrestling. Yeah, like Khabib's wrestling is not just a level above everybody else, but multiple levels. Yeah, like he just. I heard I heard like heavy guys. I'm talking about heavyweights. Talking about Khabib's pressure on the ground, being on top. Yeah, yeah. You know, taking that that side belt, that seat belt around, taking his hands, moving that leg up. You know, just neutralize the guy totally. So, Luke Rockhold said he never loses a round in training. Oh, he said? He said he doesn't lose a round. Yeah, Khabib. He said, Khabib yeah. doesn't lose a round. He just smashes everybody. That's insane. Man. Everybody who wrestles with him are like, fuck, That's here we insane. go. Time to go through the grinder. It's like I think odds are in, in, in Connor's favor because it starts standing every round. And unless Khabib can take him down over and over and over again, right off the bat, I think you know the power is going to go much. Wow, so you got Connor in this. You think his stand up is going to. I mean, you know, I could be on the fence on this one because. Khabib could take him down a hundred times too. You just but, hold him down. Yeah, but I, hey, the Mystic Mac has that little. Uh, he beat some good Chad Mendez, Jose Aldo. Like those guys don't get knocked out often. Eddie Alvarez, well, Eddie, Eddie Alvarez. Alvarez. Yeah, a lot of tough guys. He has a good, so, so if you're a betting man, you're going with Connor. I think so. Wow. I, I just don't see him beating Tony Ferguson. You see Let, him beating Khabib? <sighs> I see him beating Khabib a lot easier than Tony. Wow, I disagree. You know, a lot of people say that. A lot of people are high on Khabib. I don't know, man. I, I just you've been calling Khabib out since I've like, been calling Khabib out for years, years, bro. Yeah. Years, bro. Khabib, Khabib's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot of holes in his game. You know, and his, his striking is terrible. His, his, his striking is terrible. But his grappling uh, is tough. it's brutal. It's tough. But you just have to keep moving. You have to keep moving. You yeah. got to not let him settle. I think that's what Tony's gonna do. Uh, I think. I think Connor would, would, would sleep him. I think Damn. he would sleep Khabib. Yeah, he seems, sleeps Khabib. He stands a much better chance versus uh, Khabib than Tony. It seems when, when, when Khabib gets hit, he doesn't really expect it. You no, know, he's yeah, just I trying agree. to push forward. Those are the punches I think that sting you a lot more. You see, Khabib will stop in his tracks because he's coming straight forward. And against somebody with a, with a, with a left hand like that, I don't, I don't know. It's going to be it's gonna be a good fight. I think it's great for the sport. I think it's going to um, probably gonna break the record. You know what I mean? As far as the gate, so what? You know. What? What are your thoughts on that fight? You know, to be honest, I think Khabib is just such a machine. It's, it's, yeah. it's very difficult uh, for anybody to stop him from applying that pressure on him. But Conor McGregor's been on to be stoic, be really relaxed. Right. And as we saw, Jose Aldo came in a little, little too happy with that face up, yeah. that crack. So if anybody can sneak a shot in, I think Conor's precise well, enough to do so. Chad Mendez gave Conor problems on the ground, and Chad Mendez is no Khabib. Yeah. You know, so that's one thing I would look back. The other thing I would point out is that, for me, I believe in guys being active. Like, Connor yeah. has not – he's fought one MMA match in the last two years. Yeah. One. Mm -hmm. uh, Khabib has been rolling over people. He's been making the weight consistently. He's been doing the right things. He's yeah. looked good reasonably. He hasn't been finishing anybody, but he's been winning. Yeah, yeah. you're right. I don't know. I think Connor's a live dog in this. I think, uh, I think Khabib comes at him kind of square. You know, Khabib yeah. kind of has that same rhythm, that same style. He keeps pushing for it, yeah. and he's consistent. He's tough. But Connor got that sleeper, though. That, Sometimes Connor had that sleeper with Chad Mendez, though. And Chad Mendez is a lot. His reach is not as long as uh, Khabib, and he's definitely not as aggressive with the takedown and not as good at ground and pound once you get on top. Well, the, so I think, I think it's an even fight, to be honest. The other uh, thing I would point out is that the first two minutes of the Khabib-Michael Johnson fight, Michael Johnson was touching him with left hands. Yeah. Thank you. Touching yeah. him up. Yeah. I feel like if Connor touches Khabib with those same left hands that Michael Johnson did, a little bit more that, stank on it. that fight might be over. If he just sticks and move and keep touching him, that, from what I've seen from that Michael Johnson, with a big left hand. And you see Shalou sort of biding his time and waiting for that big right hand. Very impressed with the counter wrestling of Nurmagomedov. And here he is trying to finish a single of his own. As very impressive record, 16. Not able to do that against Nurmagomedov. Un Unbelievable. I'm very, very impressed with this game. We saw the sprawl from Shalou. He had the official weigh-in. A lot of bad blood.
run between these two men. Good butterflies by Nurmagomedov. Good use of the butterflies. The beautiful combo is uh, not just a grappling style, beautiful with headgear and with uh, a, a judo. Two minutes on the clock. Going for a ride. You notice how Trujillo locked a hold of the, uh, the leg from getting suplexed onto his head. But man, Nurmagomedov just hung on to him. Throwing him around at will. He warned about grabbing the fence. He tripped him down again. He's got his hands clasped again and again. Spins behind him. He's just masterful at getting behind Trujillo. Trips him to the from the Russian. And that's that spin. Whenever Nurmagomedov gets a hold of Trujillo, it becomes a grappling competition. He's starting to look bewildered. He gets up and he's fighting by Nurmagomedov. And again, down the ground again. Again, takes him. And this is the, the problem Trujillo is having. Every time Abel just put his hands up, he was frustrated. He can't be frustrated. He's just getting beat up. Calling Abel Trujillo. I mean, position. But at this point in the game, he, he might not have to even make that gesture as if he's asking Mario Yamasaki to do something. Else.